Welcome to my channel, Light Minded. This is going to be a pick a card reading for the abundance of money coming into your life. You have the option of deck one, deck two, or deck three. So if you need to pause the video, you can go ahead and pause and see which deck or which rune stones resonates with you more. So let's go ahead and begin with the reading. Hello, welcome. For the people that pick the pile number one, your rune stone is success. So when it comes to blessings and prosperity and abundance that's going to be coming into your life, Spirit is letting us know that you're going to have some type of success come into your life. So first I'm going to go ahead and get a Moonology card. Spirit, what message for the collective? Wow, look at this. Prosperity lies ahead. Very beautiful, guys. So not only do you have success on the way, you have prosperity on the way as well. Okay. Spirit, what additional messages? You have authority. And I only wanted one card, but this one popped out too. And you have throat chakra. So for some of you, I feel like with this prosperity and this abundance coming into your life, you could be um, moving into a position of authority. For some of you, maybe you're thinking about, you know, leaving your job behind and looking at becoming a business owner. So you would be an authority figure as well. And with the throat chakra energy, I'm really getting this energy of um, for some of you, you may need to do some type of throat chakra clearing, maybe some type of meditation. This is going to be a very important time to voice your concerns, say what you mean, mean what you say, speak clearly, think before you speak as well. So we're starting off with the Seven of Swords, Three of Wands. Judgment. And the Ace of Pentacles, very nice. So for your overall energy, you have the Eight of Wands. That's about messages coming in, back and forth, back and forth. Typically, this points to good news coming in. Also, this is about the energy moving forward. For some of you, I feel like you could have, or feel like there's some type of block when it comes to your money, when it comes to your prosperity. You have the Chariot. So this is yet another card about movement, moving forward into success, into victory, and you also have the Page of Wands. So you're gonna have some messages come in here and it could be some really exciting news. So I'm gonna get a few clarifying cards for the Seven of Swords. Spirit, can you clarify the Judgment card? Okay, so starting off, you have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be focused on um, keeping your cards to your chest. This is about working in silence, really getting your ducks in a row, getting organized. Some of you could be working in silence, applying for jobs, looking for a new commitment. That's what that energy really says. Looking for a new solid commitment and you're not really telling a lot of people because you're really looking for growth, you're looking for expansion here, and I feel like it's gonna come in fairly quickly. Next, you have the Judgment card. So this is about some type of renewal, some type of rebirth in this energy, and when this energy comes through, it's really gonna take you away from this energy of the Five of Pentacles. You know, that's the energy of loss or lack. So if you did experience any type of loss financially, you are going to recoup that because then you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. This is a blessing. Some type of um, some type of gain financially, or this could be something valuable in nature. But this is something that is, you know, it's here today and it's not gone tomorrow. It's something for the long run. So you guys definitely have some beautiful um, new beginning coming into your life, and it's very, very solid. You have valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So you have success right here and you have success right there. So you guys are definitely going to be moving into this energy of success. You have teapot, 
deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So you could have some very good conversations or maybe get some type of valuable information. You know, maybe a friend's gonna give you a lead on a position or an opportunity. Oh my gosh, and you have Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something from the past. With the judgment card here too, that does speak about it could be an opportunity from the past that you're getting a second chance on. So very beautiful reading, um, group number one. If you could please comment below, let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. And till next time. Welcome group number two. So your rune stone is the symbol of strength. So it may take a little bit of faith when it comes to your finances and your abundance. Spirit is saying really uh, tap into that inner strength um, and have faith. So let's see what messages spirit has for you. Okay, so don't let your past hold you back. So with this card, this energy, I'm getting this sense of the five of cups like you're looking back at the past maybe the things that didn't work out spirit is saying don't let your past hold you back because you still have your future ahead of you you can't change the past but you can always change the future you have partnerships and alliances so there may be a, a key partnership or alliance that may be significant um, during this time when it comes to your prosperity, when it comes to your abundance. Also, the number three is about growth, is about expansion. So I really see some type of expansion coming in when it comes to your finances. So we have the Six of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Okay, we have the Sun card. And we have the Five of Cup, the Four of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune card. So typically I don't take re reversals, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one like that. So your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this is about divine timing. This is about spirit time, not your time. This is about your luck turning. And once your luck turns, as soon as that divine timing comes in, you're going to be moving forward with success, with victory. I feel like you're gonna be taking on this energy of the King of Pentacles, a very solid energy, a very grounded energy when it comes to your finances. Very practical way of looking at your finances because you guys are gonna have some type of offer coming in, some type of genuine offer that is really gonna allow you to come to some type of successful completion. So very beautiful, guys. So I'm gonna get a few clarifying cards for the Six of Cups. Spirit, please. Okay, and the Seven of Swords. And the Four of Cups, Spirit. Okay, so starting off, you have the Six of Cups and you have the Tower card. So for some of you, I feel like with Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back in the Six of Cups, some of you could be reminiscing, like kind of going down memory lane, looking at the past. You could be thinking about somebody from your past as well. Someone from your childhood or your past could be this key to um, helping you with something with moving forward. You may hear some type of sudden messages or you may suddenly think about this person or they might reach out to you, but this there is some type of sudden change when it comes to your memories and the past. You have the Seven of Swords, so there is this energy of you really getting yourself organized, getting your ducks in a row. You could have gotten a lead from this person, maybe some type of advice or something like that. And you're gonna be getting your ducks in a row, you're gonna be getting organized, you're really going to be keeping this information to yourself. You have the Four of Swords. This is really about resting, reflecting, going within. I feel like it's about self-discovery. And I feel like by doing that, you're really going to alleviate a lot of stress and a lot of that mental energy. And then you're going to be moving into the sun. This is about happiness, joy, vitality. So as things progress, you're really going to move into this energy of the Four of Cups. I feel like you guys might have had an opportunity 
in the past that you may have missed, but Spirit is saying that you missed it for a reason. You really need to try to be kind with yourself because that situation, that opportunity that didn't work out, there's something even more beautiful coming in for you. So let me get one more clarifying card. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, you're really going to be going within. This is about meditating. This is about connecting with your higher self. Because with this energy, it's going to allow you to get some type of downloads from your spiritual team. Spirit, what additional messages? You have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You have unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You have archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up for you. So like I said, I really feel like when it comes to your abundance, your prosperity, you are going to get some type of assistance from someone from the past. And it's really going to open up some opportunities for you in the future. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you all love and abundance. Have a wonderful day. Hello, group number three. So for your ruined stone, you have marriage. Because this is about your prosperity and abundance coming in, marriage represents some type of contract, some type of agreement. So some of you could be signing on the dotted line and make something official. Spirit, what messages for the abundance and prosperity coming in for group number three? Communication is key. So communication is going to be very important for you guys when it comes to your prosperity and your abundance. You have patience and planning. <laughs> Wanted to come out. Okay, so let's see what other messages Spirit has for you guys. Oops. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Hermit card. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay. Okay, so for your overall energy, you do have the star card. This is a healing energy. For some of you, it could be about a wish um, being fulfilled or being granted, but I feel like with the cards on the table, there's gonna be some type of overall healing when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your abundance. Maybe after a time where you experience some type of conflict, this could be internal conflict or external conflict with the Five of Swords. This is almost like the energy of being in battle and you are going to be victorious, however, at what cost? So it could, you know, involve other people as well. You have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like once you move out of this energy, you're going to feel much more grounded. You're going to feel much more solid when it comes to your finances. You have the Page of Swords. So there's messages coming in. Make sure you understand the terms and the conditions. Make sure you really read through the documents if you are reading any type of messages or emails um, with this energy. You guys are reaching some type of cycle completion that you are going to reach successfully. And look at that, the Six of Swords. This is about things improving, things getting lighter, you know, your pockets getting bigger. That's what Spirit just said. So Spirit, can you clarify the Eight of Swords? Okay. Clarify the uh, Seven of Cups. Wow. <laughs> seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Okay. So I do feel this energy of waiting planning, patience, you know, some of you may have a choice right here with these two pillars showing up, but starting off, you have the eight of swords. This is about being in your head. You could be stressed. You could be worried when it comes to finances. You could have something really weighing you down, obligation, bills, you know, just things really holding you down. With the eight of cups showing up here, you know, this is spirit saying that you are going to release some type of burden from your life and you're going to move forward with your manifestations. For some of you, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed. 
you may have too many options um, you may feel confused you may not know what to do so so between hearing this reading in the near future if you do come in this energy of the seven of cups where you feel like you're in a fog you just don't know what to do you're kind of just throwing your hands up in the air like what am i supposed to do spirit is saying that you're supposed to go within with the hermit card you're supposed to journal you're supposed to meditate connect with your higher self because you need to go within to figure out what is the best for your foundation for your home life and you and only you can do that by connecting with your higher self take a break spirit is saying take a break take it easy because with the four of swords here some of you may be exhausted you may be tired when it comes to reaching this goal reaching this contract the Four of Swords is a very reflective energy too, but I'm also getting the sense of like Spirit is saying, what do you want? Like, what do you want for your future? What do you want to build? What do you want to grow with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck? Spirit, what additional messages for group number three? You have Mountain, major challenge to overcome. You have Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something from the past. You have ladder, climbing towards success. So <laughs> spirit is showing me a turtle right now. So, you know, at times it may seem slow, but spirit is saying that you are making progress. You are going to move to this energy door. Opportunities waiting for you. Spirit, any additional messages? You have grapes time to go out and have fun i feel that once you get to this point of going within getting through this foggy energy of this confusion that you're really going to be able to take a break have fun some of you may be able to take a vacation once this financial blessing comes in once this contract this opportunity comes in so don't give up keep pushing spirit is saying that you know it is going to work out and just have faith so please comment below. Let me know how these messages resonated with you. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. Have a wonderful day.